bro. So many people liked my last video that I decided to make you another one. But this time telling you why I love Pal World so much and everyone should play it, okay? Bro, there's a chicken. Were you aware there's a chicken? Oh my god, I should totally catch this chicken. Look at how cute it is. Let's beat it into submission. Oh my god. I'm living out my dream of just killing animals. Let's catch that bitch and make them our own. Oh, the noises are such a good combo of Zelda and Pokemon. They totally nailed it. You can make your own anime waifu. Who doesn't want to do that in every game? I prefer the ones where you have a gotcha system and you have to pay $600 to get them, let alone make my own. Oh my god. There's like starter Pokemon. Oh my god. Picking up wood is my favorite pastime. I wish I could do it in every game. Oh my god. I am so glad everything got translated into English with no voiceover. That is my favorite kind of game. Look at how competent this building simulator is. Oh my god, Minecraft has been around and they made a game in Unreal Engine that uses all the Fortnite tech. I hope they make more games like this. The thing I like more than just leveling is going through a grid and unlocking things that I then have to turn around and slowly build. It gives this real good sense of progression. I'm wasting all of my free time to chase a carrot on a stick. And that carrot happens to be shooting Pokemon with guns. Who doesn't want to do that? Campfire? Oh my god, I hope I can rest at it and cook food. That is my second favorite thing to do after picking up wood. I love wooden clubs so much. You would think you want a Pokeball, but you really just want a wooden club. Now that I have a wooden club, let's make some Pokeballs and I can enslave the race around me. Who doesn't want to capture little animals in a ball and then force them to do slave labor? It's the whole point of the game! When I come into games to shoot Pokemon with guns, there's nothing I love more than being shown something I wish I could get Dinosaur Pokemon, those are my favorite. But first I gotta make a workbench because it's a survival game. And ever since I grew up playing Minecraft and don't know any better, every game must have a crafting table. Why would I make a, a game where things are made for the player? Let the player make it themselves. Come on, it's 2024. I just am here to beat up helpless animals with... A wooden bat I created at a primitive workbench. And look, it's dead! Isn't that funny? Oh my god, how did Nintendo not make this game? Oh my god, it's so edgy. No one's ever done this before, guys. You know what I love about games these days? Is none of them are finished. They just release an early access or game preview or closed beta or whatever you want to call it these days. And it allows me to feel what it's like to be a game tester. I have no idea what the devs were intending, but I'm going to walk around and find out. They used to pay people to do this, but why pay people when those people can pay you to do the work for you? Then you can figure out what players really want. And what I want is to beat the shit out of this stone so I can make a pickaxe to do this faster so I can get more balls to catch animals to do it for me. Oh my god, it's like Pyramid Scheme the game. They did such a good job with the console controls. In this case, I'm playing on my Xbox Series S because I don't like PC gaming. It's just too daunting for me. I wish I bought every game on Super Sale so the devs get no money for the game they built. And then I can instead just like refund it at 1 minute and 59 seconds. It's not going to happen with this game because I have to beat up so many trees. They're just running that clock, man. My favorite thing in games is weapon damage and worrying about my hunger. I wish someone took Breath of the Wild, Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater, and smashed them together. Building campfires, personal joy of mine. Let's do it. Oh, I'm using a hammer to build some wood on the ground. This is the most original game. Can my chicken do it for me? No, chickens don't have hammers, you silly goose. Oh my god. 
Dude, it is so cool that there's a day-night system in-game, and when the lighting gets really shitty, you get to use a torch you built, because why not just let the player run around with their own light source? That's how you light a game. Who cares if it pops in in front of you? Early access, bro. Now back to my favorite pastime. Are you having as much fun as I am? You wondering what comes first, the chicken or the egg? I'm here to tell you it's the chicken, because we're going to fry an egg with a drumstick in it. If only there was some amazing Zelda music to play while we're doing this. Come on, guys, patch it already. My favorite thing in games is micromanaging my health. I wish more games would allow me to do it. My wooden club is so 10 minutes ago. I need a stone axe. Oh my god, my pals level up because we're friends and they're part of my fam. And when I build a stone axe, they get experience. It is a genius. Let's make some pal spheres to capture new friends so they too can level up by deforestation. Now that I have some pals, I'm going to use those pals to beat out the shit out of new pals. This is clearly the best part of the game. It's where I do nothing except beat the shit out of animals and then watch my animals beat the shit out of them. This is the main reason you play Pokemon. Whoa, who's that character? Whoa! I love it when the game auto defaults characters and then pops me into existence. Look at the low poly tech they're using here. It is so N64. Oh, it just speaks to my inner PTSD. Get him, chicken, you can do this. <laughs> Look, I don't even have to do anything. My chicken's got it. This is the gameplay I want. The gameplay where I just watch and the AIs fight it out. Oh my god, now that I have a stone pickaxe, I have to go find this blurry mess of a mining vein. Oh, it just makes me feel like I'm playing World of Warcraft and Minecraft and, and using the same animation of Fortnite. Shut up. This is Game of the Year 2024. My favorite thing in games is weight systems. And look at how well this one is done. It tells me I'm weighed down by carrying too many items. It shows me that I can't move around. My favorite favorite thing in games is when nothing is explained to you and you go into low poly areas that are clearly unfinished and the AI just runs away from you. It's a great way to incentivize you to work towards a gun. I know that all you saw was guns and I'm here to tell you, you need to make bows and arrows first. Why? Because we're going through time, buddy. You just showed up in the PAL world. You got your loincloth. You got your wooden club. Don't think about it too hard. We wouldn't want you doing that. Look, I got a lamb ball that was beat into submission by a chicken. I don't fucking care about life anymore. I just want to play this game. I think my favorite part of the game is that there's no music. You just run around quietly. Time to beat up this cat. You thought you could run from me, but I'm here with a lumberjack axe to tell you you're wrong. Capture this bitch. I do really like how they do it in the same screen. There's no pausing, there's no cutscenes. They clearly know what they're doing, except you have no control over your player. And who wants to these days? Let AI do it. Guys, let me show you my favorite part of my hour playing Pal World. And this will teach you why you should play it. It has so much content. I've played for an hour and I'm level four. And each level takes longer than the last. And I talked to my friend who played for 30 hours this weekend. And she confirmed it takes 18 to 20 hours to get to the first gun. Isn't that so cool? I wish I could spend all my time to get guns to shoot Pokemon. Now... I might have been called unhinged, unscripted. I might have been told to go find a bridge. I underestimated how much people love PAL World. It's like all the salty PC gamers and all the Pokemon people and survival game tryhards got together and made a game. 